James, this is interesting considering China's relations with some of those CPTPP members aren't exactly warm right now. What's it looking to get out of this application? So China's been on a big push to, to join various uh, trade deals across the region. You know, it, it's, it has very strong relations with ASEAN, you know, China, and a number of the CPTPP members just signed the RC, RCEP trade deal, which is a different trade deal, which includes Australia, Canada, uh, Japan, members of ASEAN. So, you know, the, the, the China is looking to increase its, you know, its scope of its free trade agreements to increase you know, its ability to trade without tariffs. Um, but it's also looking to exclude the U.S. from uh, control or f from having influence in the economic uh, situation in Asia. You know, if China is able to join this agreement, then it will be able to then exclude the U.S. from this agreement because any entry to the CPTPP has to be unanimous. Mm -hmm. So if China was a member, they could say they didn't want the U.S. to become a member. So, you know, obviously they're looking to increase their trade, uh, increase their ability to trade. But they're also looking to solidify their what they see as their role as the central economic core of, of the Asia Pacific region. So, will China be allowed to join? Well, as I said, you know, it, it requires unanimous assent uh, from all so far 11 members, uh, and it's very unclear whether they're going to be able to get that. As Paul mentioned, you know, China has problems with Australia right now. Uh, China has problems with Canada because of the Meng Wanzhou case. You know, China, Japan has, has been very clear that. Uh, both that China has to meet the requirements, but also that they're very, very uh, well. They're not very enthusiastic about that. They they w would much rather first sign a deal with China, South Korea, and Japan on a trilateral FTA. So they, but the Japan's position is that you know, that I've heard from Japanese diplomats is that they would prefer to do the trilateral FTA first and then maybe consider TPP later. So you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of things pushing. There's a lot of countries that maybe wouldn't be so happy about China joining. There's also a lot of uh, economic questions about whether China can actually meet the the details of the agreement. You know, things like state subsidies, uh, state-owned enterprises, labor conditions, all of these uh, you know the things that China would have to change domestic policy to meet the conditions of the TPP deal. And it's very unclear whether they're willing to make those changes or whether they really can make those changes.